Hi guys, this is Mark Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are going to be doing the song Us which this time is performed by Amy but is normally performed by TK from Rin Toshide Shiguri So what we're going to do is we're going to go in, we're going to listen to it, we're going to see if it's any good and then we're going to fire it into the emo scale and decide how emo is the song Us by TK from Rin Toshide Shiguri Either version I'm not being fussy at this particular point, I'm just judging the actual individual song on its own merits. Okay, straight away that's Japanese, not actually fucking French, which makes me think that it must be a Japanese singer, but for some reason, her name, which I saw as Aimer, was actually pronounced Amy? It was like, the chat was telling me it was pronounced in the kind of French way of saying that word, which is why I went for Amy, but I'm not... 100% sure what's happening there other than that it turns out that she is Japanese because that's blatantly a Japanese singer. But we'll go in, we'll continue sing we'll continue to listen to it and we'll see we'll see where the song takes us. <laughs> This is actually a really, really simple, sad ballad. Made this sound more complicated by the drums, and it is le legitimately just the fucking drums that's making it sound more complicated than what the song actually is. If you take it for what it is, it is most struck by basics. It's just a really, really sad piano ballad. I've heard T I've heard TK singing before. I've heard Unravel. You can kind of see his fingerprints all over the writing of this. Her singing is taking this to a really sad place. And I can't understand what she's saying, obviously. I don't speak the fucking language. But the thing that I really, really particularly like about music is that you don't need the language. It's a little bit like mathematics where it kind of crosses all language barriers and whereas maths kind of crosses the barriers in terms of like 2 plus 2 equals 4 it doesn't matter what fucking language you're in it's it, it, the same across all human existence so is so is emotion and the display of emotion i don't need to know what a japanese person's saying to understand if they're sad or happy or and the fucking rest of the gamut of emotions that exist. <laughs>
I'm very drunk right now, and I'm sorry, right? I'm fucked. <laughs> I've lost all control of this stream at this point, okay? No, <laughs> you can't tell. You can't tell. Shut up. You can't tell. Point is this, right? Is that her vocals are absolutely fucking beautiful, and I haven't heard a couple of TK songs. I don't know how much justice he would be able to do to this song because he has he, he's very good at really kind of breathy high pitch vocals his falsetto is absolutely fantastic he doesn't have the same kind of power as the female vocalists who have been covering these songs I'm basing this on this and Unravel by Edo Ado. at this moment I'm at the point where I think that TK is a much 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 better songwriter than he has performer because everybody that I've seen perform his songs seems to be able to do it better than what he does it which is not to take away from his ability he's actually very very talented I feel like everybody who's then who then steps in to go we're going to take on one of his songs somehow does it better listen if you guys disagree with that that's absolutely fine I feel free to argue with me in the comments that's that's absolutely fine I think that Ado's version of Unravel is far superior to TK's. I think this version of this song is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I've listened to a lot of fucking Japanese music since I started this channel and it's usually kind of batshit crazy but when you distill it down to its basic components it kind of sounds the same you can kind of see where it's came from they've listened to like well it'd be cheap of me to say it's listened to certain music from the west and ten it's like influences from that influences spring from where they spring from it is what it is but my point is is that this kind of feels like, with the way that she's singing it, it doesn't feel like generic Japanese music. It feels like it's kind of got TK's fingerprints all over it, but the way that she's delivering the melodies is kind of reminiscent of Tori Amos a little bit. That has got a slightly kind of, for the type of music that it is, punkier edge and when I say punkier I don't mean musically I mean an attitudinally is that a word but her voice is very Tori Amos her tone is very Tori Amos her attitude is very Tori Amos the music isn't but that's kind of my point it's like it's like as if Tori Amos came upon modern Japanese rock music and that's a, that for me is a very fucking interesting 
musical avenue to go down. Because I love Tori Amos. I think that she's very interesting and vibrant and dynamic. Maybe not so much anymore, but it's, but definitely so when she was younger. And that crossed with the really kind of interesting and vibrant and dynamic music that Japan is writing these days makes for quite the rabbit hole to fall down. <laughs> Like, that was a, such a Tori Amos melody to hit. And especially the way she sang it. It was... Mm. whole part there where she was singing like the same section on repeat but it was getting where the, where the music was getting more kind of rabid for one of a better word it was getting more and more increasingly fucking crazy as it was going on was very much a TK section it was very much a TK section her delivery of the melody that's where I keep on getting the Tori Amos thing from. That's very much a, a Tori Amos thing where she would repeat a section and get more histrionic as it went on and then she would drop it straight back fucking out again into something that was absolutely fucking heartbreaking. And without getting the lyrics, I don't know the meaning of the song, so I don't know if that's exactly what they're also doing, but it's just giving me... Early Amos vibes. I mean, I spent most of that video comparing that song to Tori Amos. It was kind of hard not to, if I'm being totally honest. Tori Amos is one of my favourite artists. I really, really love the way that she plays about with melody and mood. And, and to an extent, timing. She never actually seems to sing along with what she's playing. It's always slightly out of time in some way or another. And her whole thing is just being really obscure with her references, but also absolutely lacing that shit with so much emotion that despite the fact that you don't quite get what she's talking about, you're still dragged along for the ride. And I feel like this song 100% managed to pull off the exact same feat, because I don't speak Japanese, but at the same time, I spent the whole thing going, yeah, that's kind of heartbreaking, and it was beautiful, purely from the vocal delivery, and the instrumentals was really cool, they were really clean, intricate, clever, quite fun and interesting to listen to, but it's the vocal delivery that's going to keep me coming back and back for more, and I really feel like... The singer absolutely fucking smashed that out of the park. That was that was really, really good. Yet like you could see where TK 
had his fingers all over the writing of that track but Emma managed to completely make that track their own with, with just the caliber of the emotional intensity that they brought to those vocals but the real question is how emo was that song in terms of twinkly guitars i'm going to say it's about there mm, with the singing i'm going to say about there for the singing and i think that that to me i'm saying i think i know because i've done the science on it that is exactly how emo us by amar is as a song but let me know in the comments below guys did you like that song did you not like that song should i react to more amar let me know i've been mark abusi guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time